So Boom, you're now tuning to So Boom Podcast. We are back with episode four. You hear me? Back this week. Another, this week was kind of eventful. But just so you guys know, thank you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you know we post if you are watching on YouTube. If you on, your, what's that shit called? Apple or Spotify, whatever. You rate the fucking shit, five stars, all that jazz. Yeah. Uh, make sure you follow on all other platforms. It's always available on other platforms, the audio version, before it's here on YouTube. So if you want to listen to it early, you always can on Apple, Spotify, Google, whatever you listen to on podcasts, it's, it's on there. But hey, this week, y'all want to start with, with, with uh, the baby? I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we can go ahead. Okay. So we talked about this last week briefly before it was, you all right over there? Technical difficulties. Before, uh, before a lot of the other shit came, it was more the initial backlash. Since then, it's been... I don't know. It's been, it's been, it's been scheduled. Not scheduled for my son. They've been, it's it's gotten a lot worse for my son since it then. It definitely has gotten a God, whole dude. lot worse. They on my boy. When you're, you know how they say uh, people don't start caring until their pockets get affected. Not saying he didn't care for, from the jump, but I think he apologized before that. Yeah, he did. But they're they're nah, it was they, a mediocre apology. It wasn't a real apology. It was mediocre. It was like a yeah, I'm sorry, but okay. it wasn't an apology. I mean, like I said, I I've been. Not keeping up with it, but I've, you, you know, it's like the hot topic right now that everybody's been discussing with the whole uh, other people j- chiming in, like Madonna, Elton John, and all that. So, yeah. So, so, so since then, he's been he's been canceled, not canceled, but you know, canceled literally. He's been canceled and taken off of uh, several of, several uh, festivals. A lot of festivals. Boy said he got uh, even canceled from the. He got taken off some the of governor's it, ball. Yeah, some of son, they, they was on bad. several festivals, several events, some of his uh, sponsors, the clothing Dylan, line, the Boohoo Man. I never heard it, but I, really? I recently saw him do that last week. Yeah, not last month. So yeah, he lost some sponsors. He got removed from some festivals, and this is all. It, it seems like it's more. Well, it's like it's kind of seems like it's a compound of the AIDS comment and yeah, the gay comment. It is, son. It's a double whammy. So before I before I go, I I would like to know what you guys think of of the of the the events that has followed. Truly, I'll start with this. I'll say that in his initial apology, he did uh he did try to, you know, explain what was going on, but then back not backtracking, but also saying like my fans you know, it's like basically excusing what he said after apologizing for it. So it's kind of like he didn't, he, people probably felt like he didn't truly feel uh, sympathetic because he, like Sir Reginald said, hit him with the But And also, uh, I think my son really just keeps digging himself in a uh, bigger and bigger hole by uh, going on social media and responding to stuff as well. He's not really responding to like anybody in particular. He's like, he's, I feel like he's like just putting, but no matter. He's just like putting up statements. Yeah, but I feel like at that point, just lay low, lay low right now. It's the block is hot. You know, you got everybody and their mom uh, having an opinion on you. And so, how do you feel about like the stuff, like him getting taken off the shit? I mean, man, honestly, that cancel culture is real. You can't really. They, it's it's basically all follow the leader. Once one festival did it, everybody else started backing out. And you know, when it comes to outrage with society, everyone everyone's gonna chime in on whatever it is. No matter what that boy did, even if he came back and said he was sorry again, which he did, they yeah, still don't. They still don't care. Apology sense. They still don't care about that. They might take him off another thing. <laughs> Probably. Nah, I feel like my son. Uh, I feel like when he had, when he first apologized, I feel like he had he missed the mark completely when he when he tried to apologize the first time, which I think wasn't really an apology. He tried to stay strong on. He tried to stand on his opinion, and they start touching his pockets. And now his his people had to write his apology for him. But honestly, son, was he supposed to say the things that he said on stage? He wasn't. They also uh, were getting upset about the the smell like water comment as well, which both 
That's kind of on the back burner compared to other shit. It though. is, it is, but they they put that in they put that into it as well. And I mean, put what into the ladies? If your pussy smell like water, put your cell phones in there, and it went from from there. Mm. So it was, it was a lot of things that he was saying on stage, but you know, uh, I guess artists call it. Uh, Something in the crowd or trying to basically he's crowd just trying control, to call crowd, action, trying yeah, to hype call it, shit like that's that. That's what they kept calling. I, I, I never heard that term, but they apparently they call it a call to action. Never heard of the term call to action? That's for not artist, just a, that's not an artist term. That's no, a, but I'm just saying for artists when they that's I never heard that. No, that was, it's my first time hearing it, hearing it like that. But I mean, I guess his call to action was, and then they said that he said a lot um, worse stuff than that. But I mean, he's caught up in a moment. I don't think. You know what I mean? He's uh, hates anybody or doesn't doesn't like anybody like that. I think I just think he made a poor decision. He said some things that should not have been said. You apologize. You learn from it. Get some people that are in the community and try to understand why the the things and comments you made were insensitive and keep it pushing, son. Okay, I'm pissed off. Personally, <laughs> why are you pissed off, son? I think it's a bunch of fucking bullshit, and I think it's completely hypocritical for what these, with these brands and festivals, whoever the fuck is in charge, it's completely hypocritical what they're doing. It's, along with these artists as well, artists and whoever, everybody that came out, Madonna, Demi, uh, all these people that uh, Ellen John, Dua Lipa, especially Dua Lipa. Uh, but damn, that boy said special, especially Dua Lipa. Because she kind of, she said she was horrified and disgusted about his comments or whatever. But she's on a new song with Pop Smoke who has a line that says, I don't fuck with niggas because niggas is gay. D- verbatim. <laughs> verbatim. So it's like when, when, it, when it's, 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 it's fake care. They don't, I don't really feel like none of these people really care about whatever issue they're trying to portray. Just like I said, she has a song with Pop Smoke that has a lyric that said, and one of his most popular songs, I don't fuck with niggas because niggas is gay. These are like facts. what what gets more what's more homophobic <laughs> than that? But she's on a song with him. She's okay with that. She's not horrified or disgusted by his comments. But but you know, she is son, about the baby. You know, son, the wave is the wave. Like I said, I don't society care. society I don't care. goes into that bag of I, I, if, I do not care. It's if, hypocritical. Like I said, that's why I have a problem with it. On top of that, the along like I said, the hypocrisy of these festivals and these uh and these brands. The baby raps about killing selling drugs, beating niggas up, all type of harmful shit to to emote to the people. But none of that is 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 bad. None of the, none of the, the 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 violence that he raps about is bad enough to to have him cancel from from uh festivals from and festivals or brands venues and like y'all are okay with somebody talking about beating niggas up and killing people in his songs all the time, but he says something about a certain community and apologize for it and y'all fake care about that shit. My whole point is that none of these people really care about morality or what's right or wrong. They just care about what they think. Like, we talk about the baby apologize second time because of his pockets. That's all the people really care about. I feel like they manipulating uh, a particular community to hmm. fake like they on their side when they really don't give a fuck, to be honest. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about morals. They don't give a fuck about anything. They just care about money. And I just think it's wrong yeah. For especially when somebody, whether you like they apologize or not, they did apologize, and it's like, what is the whole point of canceling somebody? Is the point just to get them out of here, or is that what we doing with people? Like, if they make a mistake, we just get them out of here and get it, we done with them, or is the point to 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 raise awareness and educate and reform people? So I'm, I'm like, so if I say one thing ever, am I canceled and I'm done with it? Because like it's similar to the uh, to the Nick Cannon situation. Oof. Like after Nick Cannon yeah. apologized, people wanted him back. You know what I'm saying? He he said he said some some t- horrible shit. He said some bad shit that he was canceled for, and he Dude. apologized, and people was able to get him back. My son was just misinformed, and that's all it is. It's, it's misinformation. I, I think that Nick Cannon apology was more sincere. I don't care. It does not matter. It's 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 the point of what. Like I said, what is the point of canceling somebody? Is it to is it to teach them is it to 
Or is it just to get rid of people once they make one mistake? Because if that's the point, everybody should be canceled. Everybody in this world, when I say everybody in this world, most people in this world, especially the people that are probably campaigning to cancel the baby, have done some, said, done something that has been offensive to some community and on, in some way, shape, or form, more likely than not. I feel like that, uh, I feel like it's for boys to learn their lesson. But what's, me, learn, what's learning my lesson? Yeah. What's my, is, it, is it just cancel me for everything forever or is it, not okay. forever, but that's what they're doing. Like he's a since he's apologized, since he's he's put out several statements even before the second official apology. It's like at the end of the, the baby video that we uh, reacted to, it said, "You are mad at me for the freedom that you wish to have. You wish to be able to live and speak how you want to speak, but when I live and speak how I want to speak and live how I want to live, you get upset." And I'm getting canceled. And, you, and you're don't you're fight, like I said. What he said, you're fighting hate with hate. True. I mean, no, but I, I everybody still don't think that's really an apology. Everybody though. says when you free. add stuff to it, I feel like you just gotta apologize that, and just boom, let it but go. No, but don't say nothing else that's, afterwards. That's that's some bullshit because things are nuanced. Things are not just cut and dry. Oh, I'm sorry, and I'm a lot. People have different points of view. Oh. It's to be honest, I don't really think it's people. These days have to apologize for shit they really shouldn't even have to apologize for just to appease people. Because nah. to, to be honest, to be honest, he's probably not sorry. Even though he, after the first or second apology, I'm, he's probably not sorry. He probably feels the way he feels, which is not wrong. Everybody can feel the way they feel. Cause I don't necessarily, I don't think that none of the baby's statements were rooted in hate at all. It may, it may have been some ignorance, some ignorance maybe ignorance, some insensitivity. I don't think, ignorant. I don't think any of his statements were rooted in hate at all. But it's like. It's like, I forgot my, where I was going. Basically, though, son, with the cancel, back to what Reggie said about him being canceled, cancellation, the cancel culture, it's it's not real, son. It's you not. Know, you know what the real thing is? Like this, when these corporations and these festivals and when, when people decide to, you know. I think Tory Lane said you, it last week. He's like, you, cancel culture just a, a group of niggas on Twitter that, that, that get mad at shit. Facts. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, he's still, you know. He, he's still somebody that's supported by a, a company. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I feel like he should be getting the support from his team you and talking his about label. The baby? Yeah, his team and his label to, you know, get a better understanding of why what he said resulted in that and type of outrage. Cause not I feel not like agreeing thing, and saying that it's right. Because, again, like you just said with the, you know, um, spreading or uh, trying to hit hate with hate like because all that's coming back towards son is hate nobody i'm not gonna say nobody but to my knowledge i haven't heard of anyone coming out on social media saying hey baby let me can i can i talk to you and try to like explain to you why this they hurts probably us. have people not a simple nobody, nobody i've seen has been all attack elton john madonna <laughs> it has Amy, uh dua all this all every every person i've saw come out has been attacked and, and just attack it's not it's no it's no no learning, no culturing, no yo, this that. Let yeah. me let me let me show you this. It's all oh yeah, you ignorant. Fuck out of here, nigga. But was he you, really trying to learn though? I don't think so. But it doesn't I'm not that's not my point. I'm not saying he was trying to learn. I'm saying, but you're, they're not trying to that nobody's trying to appease the problem. They're just trying to get a nigga out of here. Mm -hmm. That like it's 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 no it's no it's like you going to your Going into an argument with your girl, and you're not really trying to, trying to uh, resolve the problem. You just trying to be right. Facts. I feel like, uh, like Justin said, he working for this corporation, or whatever. When you work for somebody, when you are part of something, it's certain stuff that you just can't do. And I feel like that was just one of those things. He don't work for nobody. He's on the label. He's so. on the label. I'm saying, but the label not canceling him. No, 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 no. I said they should be supporting. He's saying they should be supporting. They should be more supportive, or they should be having a, a team because that right. label so has millions or maybe even billions of dollars that they could be put put into. All right, boom. So this happened. Let's go ahead and try to you know love this over. Hey, baby, you might want to put your phone down for a little second. Stop, you know, responding to everything you see on Twitter, Instagram, or whatever. Just keep it pushing for right. He now. hasn't been doing that. I don't know why you keep saying that. What do you mean? Like he hasn't been first, responding to everything. At first? Nah, at first. He, put out, he, he, put out, he was. No, son, at first he, he was responding he put to out one. He put out one initial statement. Like, he was on his story. Like, he he did one one speaking, like, ex explanation and of that. And then it was like, I think it was another statement following that. Mm-hmm. 
and then the most recent uh apology in the last few days. But like he's not like on like like Coyle Ray or K D on Twitter responding to people. That's not what he's doing. I would just say that if it was if I was in Sun Shoes, I would just fall back. That's a bad idea too though. Fall, falling back. Always. You can't Always? you cannot run from adversity. You have you you have to address it. If it's you, running from adversity is not an answer. It's not running. It it's, is. If you're saying, I'm going to just, oh, shit, they mad at me, I'm going to fall back. No, I, think you, he, I think you always have to address any type of adversity or especially, yeah. if, especially if it's something that's that's attacking your character and saying, oh, you hate gay people. I'm going to just fall back and let them think I hate gay people. No, no. you have to. You always have to address it and say what you what, what you meant to convey. No, that's not what I I'm think saying, he should have fell back until he came out with that official but apology. that's not what I was saying. I was saying that you know after he, he apologized, just, just yeah, just chill. That's because he did come out with that. You like, know? like I said, the attempt to make apology, yeah. which I feel made things worse. He came out with the attempt to make that apology, but I feel like he should have just been quiet until they came out with that official statement, uh, the official apology. He should have just chilled. Basically, all this whole shit is is a bunch of fucking pandering to a specific community. And that's just that's just that's just the facts of the situation, because like I said, none of these people care about none of these corporations, businesses, brands, festivals care anything about morality, at all. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't let niggas get on a stage. They wouldn't even have big ass festivals when we're in the middle of a pandemic. Number one, that's that's first and foremost. They wouldn't have these fucking festivals having large gatherings of people when they know people could die. Hmm. They. They wouldn't be having these festivals. They wouldn't let niggas get on their stage talking about rap, talk about selling drugs, killing and all type of shit if they really care about morality. They do not care. They don't care about, they only care about money. The almighty dollars, and, huh? And they're just pandering to a certain community. And, and it's like motherfuckers, it's like the festival's pissing on motherfuckers and telling them it's raining. Like, yeah, we care. But true, even they, though they're- they, in, e in reality, they, they really don't care. But even though they are, uh, I'll say this, even though they are- catering i will say that what my son said was out out of the box what's more out of the box me talking it about killing niggas box. what's more out of the box me talking about killing niggas on a song or me saying if you got don't got AIDS, put your phone there listen man the culture which one is worse the, i'm asking a question the culture is the culture which I, one is I, which one is I, worse I nobody to say which is which it's Honestly. clearly one of talking about killing people is way worse hey man the, hey man listen are, hey. are you really doing this right now I'm, I'm i'm doing it because the only thing i can say is this we've been talking like this in our community for so, that makes it okay so has anybody I'm talking about what's morally right and wrong but have we ourselves in our own community held that standard have we the, put the, have, have have we held anybody responsible they held that nigga responsible as soon as he said that no one's jumped out and said i'm, talking about I'm mad at y'all niggas talking for talking about killing I'm talking people about what's morally wrong if we care about morals well, if so that's if, what's going on if we, reality, if we care a about morals a, mur a murder compared to talking about somebody is it's worse right. no matter how you cut okay, it but, but they okay with that shit they okay with the worst end of the stick they okay with motherfuckers talking about selling drugs poisoning their community all type of shit but when we talk about Oh, if you don't have this, put your phone there. It's canceled. Is that that's unacceptable? Me talking about killing people is acceptable. I get what Justin's saying. No, again, like, I get what you're saying. Like they held him accountable for it. We not holding boys accountable. Son, I, I get it. This, he that, said that, that make a lot and of nobody sense. Nobody got upset. I'm saying it doesn't make sense. I'm saying because these these people they're saying they care about morals, right? They care about what's wrong, right? He's saying his statements are wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is him not talking about killing people on songs wrong? Yeah, it's wrong. So if they have a, he's not, and him not the only, he's not the only person. Half of they fucking rappers on the, on the fucking list of their festivals probably talk about killing people. But that's what I'm saying. I'm saying y'all, y'all are willing to overlook a more egregious wrong when, it, but y'all are crucifying him over this wrong i know but let's get this right though socially if we being honest if we being real rappers been talking about killing niggas and on been songs for how long it's it's the, socially yeah. it's socially acceptable, acceptable. Yeah. but at the same time like justin said I'm talk not, talking about a gay person and making statements like that that's not socially uh socially acceptable but not only just he saying, didn't I'm say not, anything I'm, wait, against on, a gay person that, son. i'm saying in general if say for instance you go outside and you start screaming some crazy stuff and people walking past, nobody cares, right? You get on stage, you start rapping some, basically all I'm saying is nobody, people only care when, it, when it's pertaining to them. They, if he would have said that and nobody, and nobody had a reaction, gay, straight, anybody, 
and it would have just been that, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. But because some because people felt uh, some type of way about it, and immediately after it was said, they 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 got the outrage and all that. Every time somebody drop a, a song or whatever, I know we we doing the the whole uh, how rap or how the hip hop community itself has uh, publicly in well not publicly but has always and forever endorsed the realest artists, the the killers, the drug dealers, the the boys, the scammers, all that stuff. We 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 promote and we support and champion all this illegal activity. And we then when it's time for us to you know be like well. When this situation comes up and we like compare that, but we ourselves as a community hasn't held any of that to a standard. And which is why these things happen to us because we don't come together as a community and us as a community can't have our stuff together to be in a position to where we can say, hey, we don't like this. And then corporations shut that down. But other communities are stronger than ours. And that's why they look up. They they don't honestly look at that as oh i'm upset because he said he's gonna beat up a guy he needs to go or he's gonna pull out the nine and you know that's my that's my point is that they're acting like they care about uh what's right and wrong when reality they only care because people are mad it's just it's just the same as about as the baby apologizing for for because people are mad they're only they're only get take them off these festivals because people are mad they don't really care about and what's the, right and wrong and they the people, only care because people are back because it's backlash and the people who are mad you gotta understand son a lot of i don't know it's 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 a lot of a lot of politics that go into that stuff like, too like look explain to me this why can dua lipa come out after he says that and says she's horrified and disgusted by his comments but then hop on a song with a nigga that said I don't fuck with niggas because niggas is gay. Son, I can't, I can't explain for, uh, another person's actions and why they do hypocritical things. You know things. why you can't? Because it's fucking bullshit. And it's the same thing <laughs> I'm talking about because she did it because that's a good move and people don't not mad at Pop Smoke, so I can do this on Pop well, Smoke. She don't really give a fuck about the LGBT community because if she did, she wouldn't hop on a song with a, with a nigga that said, I don't fuck with niggas because niggas is gay. I'm not gonna say Period. She I'm not going to say she, she don't care. So but how, do you, how, do you not, how do you care about the LGBT community and then hop on a song with a nigga that says, I don't fuck with niggas because niggas is gay? Gay. Let me know. Hey, son. People do a lot of hypo- hypocritical things. Cause she really doesn't care. That's a. F- Are you really saying that she? Nigga, I can't expl- I can't tell you who, <laughs> if she cares or not. I, like, I know what you're saying. I'm like you tiptoeing because it's clear bullshit. But you don't. And you are. Son, how am I tiptoeing? I can't. I can't tell you what. Because it's clear that she don't care. Feels. What about Demi and Elton it's, John? Then it's clear that she don't care. What about Demi and Elton John? Then I do they not care? I'm. I'm specifically talking about Dua Lipa. Oh, okay. I'm specifically talking about Dua Lipa in this in this specific instance. She definitely don't give a fuck. There's no way you do, cause there's no way you don't know that exists, especially after and you still ain't said nothing. Cause I know niggas probably didn't tweet at her, send their clips all the time after she came out. Cause I've been seeing the clips everywhere. Oh, for real? Of yeah, like Dua Lipa said she don't fuck with the baby, but she on a song with a nigga that said this. Hey man, the so, internet. So the internet I know she's seen it. She ain't said nothing about that because she does not care. Cause people are not mad at Pop Smoke, so she's okay with. Being on a song with somebody that said homophobic things, she's completely okay with it. She's not okay with people being mad at her is what she's not okay with. And also, I think it's lame that the cool thing right that's now is one for, person, no? That's no, what I'm, it's not. It's it, more than one person, son. I'm, ta- I'm, ta- I'm, ta- I'm, ta- I'm talking about she's a, a big figure that came out against them. Yeah. And, it's, and, and when it comes to, when it comes to, to uh, uh, Demi, Ellen John, Madonna, I have... I also have a problem with them as well, just because not only does they have a problem, I just think it's a little odd that you come out of nowhere. You have nothing to do with the baby at they all. Have, you're not in a, They have you, a lot to do with the uh, statement listen, that he listen, made. Listen, I'm not done. You, you're not, but you like, you don't come out against every homophobic thing, but the baby, you, you never, they, I've never heard Madonna and the baby, Elton John and the baby. It's like they have no connection, but they went out of their way to attack somebody. And that's not even in their community. How do you feel really about? How do you way. feel they about? Did, uh, they, I don't think they went out of their way. They definitely did. How do you feel about uh, the comments that that boy Quest Love had made about how? What, he what, made, what did he say when he had his? Because apparently he had his. Like, I saw he dream. said something about it and see specifically. He had a he list said. of all his uh, people that he wanted at his dream festival, and the baby was on there. But he had like he had posted that he had crossed out the baby's name on there, and then the baby came back and was like, uh, hey, "I don't even really know who you are." Type stuff, which is kind of I don't know if it's, it's a the lie, exact same thing. He like, was capped. How the, f- the nigga had just performed with Questlove. How the f- how you don't know who Questlove is? How the fuck? Is. But the, 
<laughs> Take a deep breath. It's son. just it's very, okay. it's very, very, fun. especially for Quest Love being the only black person we've been talking about. When it comes to to black people in our community, the other things that the baby raps about is far more damaging and damning to our community and what it promotes and what it talks about. But you care about somebody saying something about homosexuality. That I, like I said, I still don't really think it's rooted in hate. But you quest love, you come out against. Why why haven't you came out against us killing each other? Well, son, that's we, it, we this is what it's, it's socially But that's what I'm saying. That I, 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 but why? Because we why son, this it's wrong. People, son. We as it's a wrong. community that's have wrong, not. Son. Held ourselves accountable. Right. So don't we hold me accountable no. for no other shit then either. If you're right. not gonna hold me accountable for the shit that's affecting us, why the fuck are you uh, uh, holding me accountable for some shit that, that's completely that's just different? Son, if, but you, if you gotta you stay consistent. Some... You can't be hip, you. It's it's the hypocrisy for me. I think you gotta understand. It's you, it's two different things. It's yeah. not. It's it is. not. It's it, not. It's listen, not. It's only different because me. you make it different. Listen to me, son. It's two different things. I feel like that. Like I said. I'm going to keep saying it, that boys rapping about guns, killing, doing all that. All that stuff is socially acceptable, son. Versus, like I said, making statements like that is is not. Because, like I said, killing, doing drugs, it might be what? It's immoral. Right. It's it's immoral, son. You're right. And I, I agree with you. Everything that you're saying, I agree with you, son. But, like I said, it's socially acceptable. But it might be insensitive to... Not a lot of people, but like I said, in our community, it's what we listen to. It's what boys relate to. They I listen mean, to it, but it's not like boys is out here. Oh well, since I'm listening to this shit, I'm about to go out here and do it. It's it's just then, it's just what boys listen to. And so. then on top of that, for the most part, we all know that our favorite artist is a, a character. Basically, we know that these. But not all, majority of these people aren't who they say they really are. They're entertainers. They're, it's for entertainment. Understandable. Just like in a movie, when you see somebody die, they're not really dead, but you're displaying death. And we don't find anything wrong with that either. Just throwing that in there as well. But our, and I keep going back to our community with the, because the whole uh, death thing and all that. Let me say, let me ask you this. So you're basically saying that, that, that we that if we got more mad about shit like that, then they they would do the same. The shit would stop. Son. They would, son. yes, mm-hmm. definitely would. Literally, son. Literally. If, but again, us as a community, we haven't we haven't came we haven't band together strong enough for uh, Lollapalooza to care about that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, whatever Rolling Loud festival, anything like that, for them to be like, oh well, damn, you said this. Cause and, boys. And now that you said this, and we all feel some type of way, like everybody in the crowd, like, yeah, let's, I'm about to bust a nigga head tonight. Ah, like yeah. A- or if he'd he be like, I'm about to bust a nigga head tonight. What? Oh, yeah, boys whoa. don't understand, son. Like, when, we, when we come together, like, not, we could get a lot accomplished I, I when we come together. I completely agree with that point, but I'm, my, my kind of, my, my point is, is that it should not, we should not, like, consistency. It shouldn't be based on who makes you mad or who's outraged that things happen. If you're going to say you care about people and you care about morality and things of that nature, I feel like you always have to care about whether or not people are mad or not. For example, uh, a few weeks ago, I think it might have been sometime last month, Stephen A. Smith, he said something about an Asian uh, baseball player. Uh, that I remember that. that he said something about an Asian baseball it's not, player. It's, he, he said he was, it's not he good for the game. Saying something, yeah, it's not good for the league because he doesn't really speak English. He's like been saying it up, and he was basically just saying that it's not good for the face of the league to not be able to communicate to his fan base, which is it really wasn't it wasn't rooting any type of hate, but the Asian community got upset, mm-hmm. right? Boom. So he apologized. Following that week, he said something about the Nigerian basketball team. He was kind of clowning the fuck out of him. I think he was clowning. And, uh, he was counting the uh, and not a single person. He was counting the USA basketball team, Kobe. That's when we had lost to the, to the Nigerian basketball team, right? Mm-hmm. He was kind of like, "You lost to these niggas. They suck. They can't even do this." <laughs> he didn't they say these niggas, that. He, yeah. was, he was he was on. He was like he was clowning. He was clowning the USA by clowning the fuck out of the Nigerian basketball team. And but like I said, because there wasn't the same backlash, mm, because uh, he the, didn't have to apologize. Because nobody com- nobody gave a fuck. Exactly. But that's my point. Is that. We shouldn't have to apologize or we shouldn't have to, we shouldn't live in a world where 
uh, apologies or things only matter when people are upset. If you're going to, like, stay consistent the whole way through, if you're going to have have a stance on, oh, I'm, I'm for what's right and what's wrong is wrong, <sighs> then have that shit all the way through. But this is a different conversation, son, because America has never and been consistent with black people. It, it, I'm saying it's, it's not <laughs> ever. It's not a different conversation. I'm just talking about the umbrella. Of, the, the, the topic, the, the issues are different, but they're all under the same umbrella of morals. Correct. So and what's immoral and what's not. So yes, the topics are different. But if I'm saying if you're gonna ha- if you're gonna stand for what's immoral, don't just stand for what's immoral when people are mad at you. But that's what apologies for, huh? son. When people mad at you, that's no, that, when you apologize. That's not true. That's like not true. Somebody upset. That's not true. And you did somebody wrong. That's not true. So what's so the when you that's do somebody true. wrong, you don't apologize. That's not true. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, but it's that's been. Pl- what I'm but listen, no, but listen, it's plenty. Of, me, it's been plenty of times where I've apologized for something that the other person was not even mad at. Like, I, like it's been times where I raised my voice at somebody. I get what you're saying. And, you corrected and, and, before and, and, it happened. And they weren't mad that I raised my voice at them. But because I know I shouldn't have did that, I go and I'm like, yo, you don't, you don't even have to come to me and tell me that was wrong. You don't even have to come to me and tell me that you were upset about that. Me, as a person, I know that I shouldn't have been yelled at you like that. So I, I'm, I'm I'm apologizing because I was wrong. Not and everybody has that self awareness. That, everybody don't have that though. But I'm saying, but you should. And I'm saying and every, that's the I'm, I'm saying, but that's the problem. I'm saying that's the <laughs> when problem. You don't these, know. Son. I'm saying, but that's the problem with, with these festivals and these brands and these large corporations that's talking about canceling people just out, even outside of the baby. If you're gonna have those these strong stances, you or and and take these actions, you have to be consistent. Right? You can't. Be mad at one thing that's immoral. Be okay with another thing that's immoral, and have it on your stage. It's it's not right. It's hypocr- it's hypocritical. It's damaging, and it's like it, it's ugh, fuck. I lost my train of thought again. I get what you're saying, son, and I feel like we we're for the most part are all on the same page. But again, what you're saying to me, I, I keep that same energy. The fuck, I'm saying right, right. Or keep that same energy, or don't keep it. Keep the same energy when it comes to immorality. Or don't cancel people, or don't. You're, you're do, saying don't it. wait for the outrage. Yeah, I'm saying either you don't wait for the I'm outrage. Either, don't wait for the outrage. If you, if you, if say for example, I don't La La Palooza, right? It was one of the festivals. If La La Palooza does not stand for immorality and 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 hate or whatever the fuck, be proactive. And when you see hate, you cancel it. Don't only get upset when. Don't only be proactive and cancel hate. Or immoral things when people are mad at you. Same what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not only going to apologize when you're mad at me if I know I did something wrong. If I know something's wrong, I'm gonna be proactive and address that shit. Just keep. Just be consistent or be a festival and let the artists do what they do. Cause rap, rap and hip hop has never been PC ever in its history. Has never been PC or politically correct or uh, moral for that matter. It's, ne- it's, ne- it's never been as a, as, well, a, as a whole. We're we not gonna do that to hip hop. As gonna, a whole, no, it's never we're been. We're not gonna do that to hip hop. We're it's not a gonna. Fact. It's, it's, it's not a fact. It's, it's, it's not. A fact, not it's not. It's when, not. When not, you go to when you go to uh, the Furious Five, I'm and not you saying go to nobody those has groups, been. I'm saying as that's a, what you just as, said. Though. I said I'm not, not what I said. I said hip hop as a whole has never been this moral thing. It's never. It's never been moral. It's never been. Oh, hip hop is is good. Like in the beginning. In the beginning, it did. I don't think it was always that way. In the beginning, son, it was a lot of com- camaraderie. It was a lot okay, of for the for the for, Steve, for the for the for the for the. For the past, we, talk, we talk about the golden the get what the eighties from the eighties on. It's never been a moral thing, ever. Period. And so, don't choose now to to uh to you know to try, try to stand on on a, on a fence or whatever. But if a, if somebody on stage, I also want to say that. Go ahead. Yeah, but one last thing. If someone's on stage, right? And, you know, and the most damning thing is when you, when he brought up the HIV comments, because that right there, that for me was the word, was possibly the most insensitive thing he could have said as far yes, as if I, you're going to die, can, if you're can, going to die. I completely like, agree with like that. Like that right there. Because people you, are born with HIV and you they can't need do nothing about to, it. It's a big stigma around exactly. it. Exactly. And then. Yeah. yeah, even the whole, if you suck in dick in the parking lot, if that's what you want to do, go ahead, wow, out. But listen, Don't condemn a man and then behind. I think, then, I, your, then your hype man make it worse by saying, yeah, some of y'all boys out here are sus. That, that's a, that's I, making it seem uh, anti towards the, what you're, you know what I mean? Yo, boom, I, I, I don't, I think if the, uh, if 
the sucking dick comment existed without the HIV comment, it would not be as much of an outrage because it it's kind of funny. Like, would be there. like even gay people or women or whatever. Whoever will be sucking dick, you would hope that your nasty ass ain't sucking dick in the in rolling lot or parking lot. Because it's so I'm saying it. The, yeah. the sucking dick comment can exist by itself. It's the I think it's the the the, the fusion dance between the the HIV comment and huh. the sucking dick. I comment. like how you said the fusion dance. True, but I, I, this I think I think academics said said it best. Now I basically said it's just weird how festivals are putting out the elaborate statements about how much they care about humanity, and because because of that they can't have the baby on the show. And what he said, yet ninety percent of Artists they book, music is about drugs and murder, and it's totally fine with them. These companies gotta choose whether they're prioritizing art or morality. Because it seems like they it seems like they're hypocrites when they try to get on a high horse on canceling artists. Hip hop is a genre with filled with imperfect imperfect individuals telling stories. Why even fuck with it if you want saints? And again, he wasn't really rapping, though. He wasn't telling the story. The nigga was just talking. He I, was think you, just I think you took the, the statement out of context. But the, 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 the individuals are imperfect. So, like I said, they, 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 the, what, the biggest part of these people are their music, and their music is is a lot of times immoral. So, like I said, if you want if you wanted saints, why are you, Basically why are you fucking with hip-hop? Because hip-hop you, ain't full of saints. You know anything can come out them all type stuff. Exactly. But I Go back to me saying, you're okay with them you, rapping about killing about murder, but when they talk, that's okay, but that's not. I think that's, at the end of the day, my son just shouldn't have said what he said. But son, they they make more money off of that talk than I, they do if they didn't exist. I, I think I think that's clear that he probably he shouldn't have said what he said. But people make mistakes. People say things they're not supposed to say. People are ignorant. People are ignorant to issues and and uh things of that nature. People are ignorant to people's plights and so yeah, he shouldn't have said what he said. I agree a hundred percent. But I also don't think the backlash should have been what it was. Facts. I think it, I think the backlash is, is hypocritical and fucked up at, at best. I don't think he would have learned his lesson if he didn't get that much backlash. I still don't. I don't, I don't think he good. I think the baby sees it for what it is because he said that. I think he said that in his first apology it was like they playing on y'all. Like when we talked to the LGBT community, like they playing on y'all. They don't. They're they're using you, and I think a lot of people are using the LGBT community to to gain some 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 fair favor because like i said they don't really care about morals as we as i've said repeatedly they don't really care about morals they care about oh how can i leverage they care about dollars how can i leverage this to gain support or dollars or whatever the fuck people might have been can people might have been canceling their tickets that people if nobody was if this festival didn't feel like it would affect their bottom line or their money they wouldn't do nothing hmm. and like i said i think the baby just said like yo they playing on y'all they don't really care about y'all, but okay. But still, what he said was wrong. I I agree. It was he, he shouldn't have said it. Yep. But like I said, the 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 lessons, the, the events following after shouldn't have been what they were because nobody's perfect. Anybody can get canceled for anything. If we if we go if it was a camera on you twenty four seven and we saw some shit that you said that you know you shouldn't have said, everybody in this fucking world would be canceled. And that's why the world is how it is right now. So people it's, need to chill. That's don't true, what that what they say what that shit say. Don't uh. He, he without saying cast the first stone, hmm. yeah, motherfuckers yeah. be quick to, to to demonize people and and all that shit when they know they they ain't living right. I remember I saw an article about that a long time ago. It was a uh, it was a young lady. She was working for some magazine and she was like led the charge in getting somebody fired for like some tweets that they had, right? Mm -hmm. And then she ended up taking a position, and then they found some shit on her from Damn. from like when she was like a child, like she was like a teenager. From and when they, she was a teenager, yep, and they, and they, and they, and they and she, like I said, she had just got done leading the charge against somebody else to get them fired. Took their position, and they found some shit on her. That's like how, not to bring uh, this person up like this, but with the blue, but like how you know Chrissy Teigen, she was very, no, it's exactly like was, Chrissy. Teigen. She was very, very much oh, so yes. favored. She was a she was a cancel by all. But she was a white knight for the cancel culture. After they brought up some old stuff, old tweets that she had, it's a wrap. She lost her little cooking. Thing she got uh, on her ass. A lot of things. A lot of her endorsements, and now it mums the word. I haven't really heard much from her. She was the canceler. Now she's the cancelee. Yeah. It, now it's just man. It's just how the world. This how the world is, and it's not about what she recently said. It's about some stuff she used to say. I think we overcorrected a lot in a, in, a, in, a, in the in the PC culture. I think there was a lot of things that we used to that's okay or socially acceptable that shouldn't be right. But I think we overcorrected when it comes to how we address those things. 
I feel like a lot of things these days have rapidly pro- have progressed. Yes, but now there has not been any. What's the word for for people that grow up in a certain culture? It hasn't been. Uh, there's no rule book for this. You know, everyone's literally going through it all together at the same time. So yes, what he said was insensitive, but give give the man a chance to you know try to learn from the mistakes because it would be one thing if he was a habitual offender i think canceling inherently is toxic yeah it is son it's it does nothing it's like if somebody's racist and it's not i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not somebody that's like if you're racist you should be canceled you want to know why i feel like once you cancel that person it just puts them in a corner and make and makes them resent more you're not learning anything from it. right i feel that, like you need ooh, i like that you, i feel the like resent is the true word yeah because like, like if i say something that was honestly a mistake or that was a mistake or came out of ignorance and now and then y'all attack me i'm like yes. man fuck y'all and now you label fuck me y'all. you label me a certain fuck my dick you label me a certain way and i've been nothing but perfect up until this point which is not not i'm not i'm not saying the baby i'm not saying <laughs> the, not but you know what i mean i'm just talking about yeah, for right, people so. in general and those kinds of things are what set people off from that. It's crazy, but I mean, it is what it is. He, the baby, gonna have he gonna have to learn the hard way, man. What you call it? True. What you call it, guy? His uh. Oh, and Boosie too. I say Boosie about to learn the hard. No, Boosie already learned. He got his Instagram deleted again. Again, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I, I remember. But look, son, what Boosie was saying no, was wild. wild. Nah, he was wild. Look, no. Boosie was wild. Cause it, I was watching. The, I was Boosie I was, was wrong. I was on Instagram. Boosie was wrong. I was on Instagram scrolling. Now I'm, this is like after the baby shit's happening. On. And then I think I had just saw some shit in the shade room. And I see Boosie new IG went live. Mind you, this is already the new IG. This is his second profile <laughs> the, 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 from his last one that got Damn. that cut off. He he was he went live. So I'm like, I know he about to talk about this baby shit. I clicked on it. He was, he was, he was, he was just wild. But Boosie's from that. He was old... talking about being Lil Nas X up. And, yeah, yeah, son, Boosie. I was like, oh yeah. But see, this, Boosie's... this, this IG finna be gone in no time. Nice, nah, this for sure gone. <laughs> Boosie's from that old age, that old era of old school niggas that haven't adjusted or acclimated to the times. That's true. I do want to say this though, because it was one thing he said that I do think is important. Not necessarily about. Specifically, what he said. I do think in today's day and age, we try to force people to think and feel how you feel Facts. and force people to accept shit that they might not want to accept. And I think it's okay for people to not accept or agree with how you live or how you what you are doing as long as they're not uh, attacking you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, because it's, it's a lot of people that are Christians that don't agree with homosexuality. And but most of them aren't. They like said they ain't going out beating up homosexuals and shit like that. I'm saying I can. I think it's. I think I we need to get to a point where it's okay for you to disagree with somebody's lifestyle and it not be a canceling thing. It's it's to the point now where we're gonna get into the years to That's come where conform. If you don't conform, then you're canceled. Yeah, like I said, if you Literally. don't, if you don't, if you, it's not about even you not being hateful. If you don't yeah, conform if, to the if, if, belief if, if, of if everyone else, facts. you are canceled. If, if a prominent figure came out today and says, I don't necessarily agree with homosexuality, I don't think it should be allowed. Well, not allowed. I don't think people should do it. I don't think it's right. My, my religion says this about it. He will get a lot of backlash. Even, even if he says, Look, he will I, don't, get killed, I, I, don't, sure. I don't care. Like I said, people can live their life how they want, but I don't agree with it. Is it's, it's not okay to me. Like I said, that isn't hate. That isn't anything, but people would bash him for that just for not agreeing. I feel like sometimes bars just need to be quiet, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, but if that's the point, then then because no, if, no, no, if no, it's listen. not really affecting you, you shouldn't. Why I say something about it? Because if I can, why you care so much about other people this, being gay and stuff? This is this is the thing. Being, true. This is the thing. It, if, if you thing. you should not even care about. It. You should just be quiet, stay away from but, them. But what if I do care though? What if, like I said, my, what if my religion says it's wrong and I'm not okay with that lifestyle? It is completely okay for me to speak my opinion because that, that, because if that's the point, then we're silencing people. What are they doing to you, though? No, but I'm saying, are they li- are they actually affecting your life? Listen, listen at me. You listen, just see it and you me. just want to say something. Listen to me. You should just be listen quiet and live your life. Listen to me. Social media is pull people saying stuff that don't have nothing to do with them, right? 
You say you say stuff that don't you talk about stuff that don't affect you. We all do it. That's how Facts. humans communicate. We we express our opinions. It should complete. It should be completely okay for people to express their opinion as long as they're not hating on somebody or or like call, said, saying. I, I should be able. I should be able to speak out and say, "Yo, I disagree with this." Without people getting mad at me. Facts. It, it, like I said, I maybe they shouldn't care, but like I said, some people do care. Some people have strong faith in their religion. And they might want to speak out on it because a lot of religions say, yo, you're supposed to spread it and enlighten people. So if, if I'm following my religion, I want to enlighten people and say how I feel. That should be completely OK. As long as I'm not actively hurting anyone, that should be fine. We should. As long as you're not saying I'm going to hell. This is the thing. People are people are just silenced with certain opinions. If, everybody should be able to say their opinion. People shouldn't be silenced or attacked for certain opinions. Maybe you might disagree with them saying it, but they have the right to say it. We live in America, it's supposed to be freedom of speech. But it's, that's but, but that's being stripped away slowly and slowly by uh, more PC culture and things you can't say. But hold on, son. You do for have, certain, for you certain do people. have the freedom to say what you want, but you do have also consequences no, people, oh, yeah. that come with whatever you Absolutely. choose to say. Absolutely. So, yes, free speech exists but there are consequences to the things you say but i'm saying like for example like if i if <laughs> if boom if i said i don't want to i don't want to date fat women mm. right what am i i'm fat phobic mm. i'm body shaming i'm all type of shit but if a woman comes out and Ooh. says that she doesn't want to date fat dudes, no, nobody's gonna blink an eye. Not even that. I don't want to date broke niggas. Same. Like I said, <laughs> like I said if like I said, it's certain people whose preferences can be or opinions can be shallow and hurtful to maybe some people yeah. that is accepted. But it's like I said, it's only certain groups that's being canceled. Like I said, if I Facts. say something about somebody, then it's wrong. But they can say something and it's okay. I just think we need to get to a place in the world where everybody can share their opinion. And it not be demonized. Yeah, because just like time. just like you say, uh, if it's not affecting you, you shouldn't say nothing. That that can say the same thing. If 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 Boosie don't like gay people, well, why do gay people care? Whoop! Hold on. Because it's, 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 I'm saying I'm just using his. I disagree with his logic. Uh, okay, but I'm okay. saying by his logic, if it doesn't affect you, you shouldn't say nothing. So if some if this one dude is saying something and it doesn't affect you. Don't follow the unfollow the boozy, block them. You won't have to see them. It's that simple. But I'm saying everybody should be. I don't think. But I don't think that's the solution. I think everybody should be able to say what they want to say. Again, you can say what you would like to say, but no, just know that if you say some dumb shit, you will get. <laughs> they're gonna run it back, run it, run it again, yeah, for sure, and run, run it. it some more. Yeah, and guess he what? Was, he was just saying dumb shit. You know, like I mean? said, to like say he was. He was just being stupid. We watched, he was wilding out. He was, we literally was, watched in real time how the babies. But Boosie's uh, very ignorant, though. He we we've been through that just in general. Yeah. About but it goes, Boosie ignorant about everything. But son, it goes back into culture. I can speak for myself. I'm born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. How how holla back? You hear me? Some some places in 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 the United States, especially um, religious places in the South. That and belts. and very much so. Uh, Urban filled say it's communities. Uh, less so now, but yeah. The, yes, the black but you know, the black what I'm, you know what I'm trying his, to. Yeah, the black community so, has a history of of, uh, of homophobic very, ideals. Very, very much so. And so, Boosie is from that era. Now, not saying that he's he's he was raised that way, right? And and with those with uh you know that that group of people that are out there, you it's. It's a it's an opportunity you should take it as to educate. It, but when you go about it the way Pussy did, you get your Instagram taken away from. <laughs> you. That's a fact. That that's and not you get talked you, about. But, and and this stupid ass nigga, he keep, he. Oh my, Pussy's. So, like, we talk about Pussy being ignorant. He ignorant. I just I just saw I just saw fucking shit today. I think he like the the uh, CEO of Instagram. He just called that nigga a bitch or something just now, like well, early have, earlier this morning. Have fun, Pussy. What's he say? They took my idea again. Shake my head. I ain't even do shit. Spam Missouri. <laughs> he a bitch. <laughs> like what you thought that you think calling him a bitch go get your shit right. back? I mean, hey, people again, freedom of speech. But now the consequences are you're never gonna have an Instagram. Right. <laughs> you say what you want, but again, there are consequences to this shit, man. 
You could do whatever you want. You could say whatever you want. The no, consequences I'm, are still I'm, going to be I don't there know who for says you. This, but they always say, uh, you have the right to say what you want. But you really, like I said, you really don't. But you know, people also have the right to feel how they want to feel about it. Facts. True. Because, I mean, again, you can't make, you, you can't say, sometimes people say things that invoke emotion out of people, strong emotions. So when you're attacking, and, you know, I'll say this, and I'll say this about Lil Nas X. This guy here, he's just living his best life, right? Mm -hmm. And he's pissing off the whole, he's pissing off a community of males that it's to the point where, like, bro, why are you this mad about this man? I understand he has these antics or whatever. You know what? We just we just watched ba the baby video. He was getting head in the video. I don't think that. I think it's different. That's why. Cause you say it's a group. I don't think Bec like, because listen, it goes into what Boosie was going off on Son about. Peep, I, I think it's a very small group of. I think that's what I think Neil Nas does. I think he focuses on the vocal minority. I think majority of people don't care. But he, majority. I think, I think he. No, I don't think he focuses on it. But I think. It all, like the the vocal minority gets highlighted when it like, man, it was some a, people you know some people revel in the hate, some people revel in the backlash. Yeah. I.e., like some sports players, like they have a million fans, but it's those doubters that that fuels them. Yeah, I think it's kind of similar to that. Like, mo I think most people don't care or support Lil Nas no, X, facts, but no, I think like, it's the vast minority that that kind of gets highlighted. Right, and but also, well, do they get highlighted? Because I honestly, son, I I, I, I come across more boy, more people hating on some than more more people and i mean like straight men you know what i'm, I'm saying, saying like when i look at, well i'm saying when i look into like the like the comment sections and things of that nature i think most people don't care i just think i mean it, it is a it it doesn't matter why i don't understand why why people get so passionate I don't know why you about, about that. Either. No, because of boosie because of what boosie was saying about son like it riled him up so much that he got so emotional about whatever son was doing about the bet award i think thing, i think this and is, that invoked him to React that way, and guess what? If you got mad because of how another nigga living his life, I don't and now you I, messed up your bag. I, well, not like really brands are fucking with Boosie to begin with, but, <laughs> but I think on. I think Boosie, I think Boosie was more mad at the kind of like what Ti said shortly after. He was like, Ti said something. He was like, if Lil Nas can pop his shit, why well, can't the baby say what he want to say? I think that's more of the lines that 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 Boosie was on, like God damn. Uh, but nobody's Bo like L Lil Nas X can do his gay shit, but what you call it can't say this on stage. Yeah, because he's gay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I don't like, even think that correlates. That's what I'm to saying. Like, I'm so confused. I'm, like I said, Boosie is ignorant. I'm saying that's what he was saying. Yeah, he was just, more saying like, why can't baby? Baby ain't do nothing. A lot of he, people. He a lot of people are up for some lessons, and as a community, I feel like we. We tend to go the reaction versus trying to send love and understanding first. the The first thing people want to do is get mad. Nobody ever wants to try to understand somebody. Shout out to the, shout out to all the panda bears out there, man. That's the all to do is me pandering. Okay, I was like, hey, wait, where are you going with this? I'm sure I was that. like, damn, the panda bears. I was like, damn, all the pandas all extinct now for real. But uh, boys gonna get mad. Dude. That's, I feel like that's defensive. It's it's natural reactions. Uh, what talk about uh, what you call it? Oh, the Olympics are going on. Shout out to Miss Elaine. What's her last name? The Jamaican chick, Miss Elaine, that won the. I have no idea what her last name is. The I mean, won the uh female hundred meter dash. She actually smoked that. I think she's like sir. I think she got the second fastest time ever in the hundred meter dash. Shout out to her. I think I think they said like she, like the Jamaican girls swept the whole shit number one. Did she really? No, the Jamaican girls like the first, second, and third for the hundred meter dash was all Jamaican girls. Mm -hmm. And they blew them all out the water. I yeah. mean, I think the first they one won first, second, they won first, second, and third. She <laughs> set the record for the uh, all the medals went to the record that's been in place since like 1968. Really? She just broke that record. Yeah, I don't think she broke the record. No, I, she that's, did. That, that's FloJo's record. I think she. I think she got the second fastest time. I don't think she broke the record. Nah, son, she broke the record. I think you're incorrect. I'm not, son. It's all right. I think we're, she might. I, I did see that she's away. the first woman to uh to uh she won the 200 meter too. She's the first to, oh, yeah? to do so both. So she did 100 and 200. She won both. Oh, okay, so she must have killed How the record. Lane? She killed the record on both of them. 
No, she didn't. Oh well. E L A N I E, maybe. E-L-A-N-I-E. I'll be general. I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. I've not been keeping up with the Olympics because I don't care. Just, just to I've be been watching clips. Nah, but I'm about to say, honestly, don't care. I'm not, the, not even gonna pretend to, like I to, care. To put it, look, this is the the record. She won. Like, she ran like a six two four. She a, 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 a ten. It was a ten six two or ten six four is what she ran. Flojo got the record, bro. Flojo got all the records. Flojo's the fastest woman to ever live. You hear me? So she she's second right here. Uh, Tom Elaine Thomas. Nah, but to put it in terms of how fast these girls was running. Shakari, she was the she was the, the the talk of American. Everybody was hyped up about her going. She would have played her best qualifying time would have put her fourth. These Jamaican girls are wilding the fuck out. I mean, shout out to the, the, <laughs> to, to the, to the mean, black queens in Jamaica. You hear me? With that boy, what you call say? They be chasing all, uh, animals for practice. Shout out to all the queens out there, you know. But uh, also in the Olympics, uh, Simone Biles put out of a lot of her. Uh, Team competitions. Now that no, I did see, of, she put out of several. I think she was. It's Tuesday today. I think she got a medal yesterday, or this early this morning, whatever Tokyo time. Uh, got a bronze medal for she ended up re-entering, but she put out of several events because uh, mental health reasons again. Right. And were were they not? I, I believe they were saying that they weren't allowing some type of medication or, or something that she's. I that, don't know. that people brought that up, but that's not why she said she did uh, it. Like she just, it sounded like she was just pressured. To be honest, she just felt like she felt. The, but that could her I, statement she came out. She said like she just felt a lot of pressure and she just didn't feel like she uh, had it. Because like I said, she started performing. She started doing the Olympics and she wasn't performing very well. And then she said that she didn't got. She said she was getting a case of the twisties. I think this is a. What's the twisties? It's a. It's that. a. A. Uh, a term that gymnasts use. To describe how they, when they get uh, get lost in the air, uh-huh. so she saying like she basically wasn't able to focus. It was a lot of pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. And she ended up re-entering, but it was a lot of people, uh, you no know, criticizing, of course, and yes. people support you no know, both sides of the spectrum. Some people saying that it was weak, of course. Uh, mm. Some people saying she quit, uh, and you no know, the other side of support. What do you What do you guys think? It's it's man. It's a I, have a, I also have slope. an interesting take on this shit. It's a slippery slope, man. Because, um, on the on the one hand, mental health is a tremendously right it is, but it was a slept on thing for many and many years. And you know, you you, I don't think people understand if you aren't up there mentally, you. You you really can't do shit. Like it 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 enable it, it enables you to get stuck in a, either a rut or whatever. Now I don't know for Miss Biles. I don't know how she was feeling or what she was going through. And I don't want to sound insensitive when I say this, but it just seems to me like now, you know, the thing that separated pro athletes from regular people were you know their mental fortitude, and. uh I'm not trying to sit here and say that what she did was weak because at the end of the day, you spent your whole life or you spend your whole life on a craft that you're great at. She's amazing at. She's the best at. Yeah, she's good for sure. You know? But it's, un- it's, 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 it's not even a comp. It's undoubted. She's the most. It's, she's up there with Michael Phelps when it comes to decorated Olympians. It's like this. I, I'm going to try to, and I'm not trying to sports this out to death real quick, but it's like. If LeBron was to say, "I'm not, I'm not playing today for mental health," he would get killed no matter what. Murder. That's no part, matter. No that's, matter look, what. That's part of my take. It's not even just you don't have to make up a such scenario. We have had several men athletes that have come out like last year in, in the in the bubble. Paul George said he was depressed. Got killed. Got killed. Called him pandemic P. Nobody gave him any support. Kyrie, no, 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 not at all. Nobody gave him any support. Very little. No, they didn't Very even, little to know. They didn't even put respect on Paul George's name until this year when he had to play yeah, by and, himself. And LeBron does get killed for the meltdown, which was a mental thing. He probably wasn't there. Uh, who was his name? Kyrie. 
got killed this year several times for taking Man, several breaks. A million times got killed. Uh, uh, the, even even I, the media even uh, tries to declare him a weirdo. I think he's a little bit weird, but but hey, I mean, again, you are who you are. <laughs> but, if you're not like me, that's fine. But look, I I think that's a, a highlight of how we treat men athletes versus women athletes because Naomi Osaka did the same thing, and they Naomi Osaka and Simone Biles' uh, reaction and is was completely different. To what a male's athlete would would be oh, and has been. I wasn't going there with it. I was just saying I'm just, in general. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. saying you. Go, I'm, that's where I'm going. I'm saying yeah. it, it's it's a clear it's a clear difference. It's very clear. Kanaima Osaka did it. Simone Biles did it. Both pulled out of their sports for mental health reasons. But when dudes have their mental well, issues, not necessarily true. Because when Kevin Love came out saying that he stepped away for the game for a little minute due to his, he, uh, he stepped away from the game. He just said he was dealing with something. Yeah, and he he, he wasn't never playing. He wasn't playing when he, he was did, dealing that with was it. in the off season. He wrote like a book or something. Really? Yeah, I he, thought he, he missed did, a couple did, of games he for he that. He stopped playing. Well, shout out to Kevin Love for and like. Rosen has also said that, but I think like for like I said, if Tom Brady came out in Super Bowl and was like, "Yo, this pressure is too much for me," bro, I they would cannot kill go play him. They would kill him. But again, not to make it a male or female thing. I just think that so, all these pro athletes go through immense. I mean, I can't even fathom the pressure that these people so go you, through. That comes with sports, though. It def- and that's what when I said. You, it's you a do part- sports at the highest level? Yeah. Pressure, expectations, all that shit part of the job, yes, baby. I, I believe so. I believe that it, it is all part of the game. But at the same time, I feel like, hmm, how should I say this? I feel like if that woman is going through what she's going through and that's what she's choosing to do, then so be it, you know? I'm not going to condemn her for choosing to put her mental health first over essentially what's a game or a sport. My so, life my life comes first. So I think that uh everybody should be supported the same way male love female. Whether, so so let me if you're going through any type of mental health let me, I mean I take mental health serious. If you're going through any type of mental health, I feel like everybody should be treated the same equally. They should get get or be able to take a break from what they're actually doing to actually get their mental so right. So let me ask both of you guys this. You guys are both Saints fans, right? Love mm-hmm. him. You guys, y'all in the Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all favorite player, Drew Brees, before the Super Bowl says, I can't do this. The pressure is too much for me. I, I, I can't play today. How are you going to feel? <laughs> and be, 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 be honest. Be honest. I, hey, hey, let I me be, be real. Be I'm going to be real with you. But at the I'm same going time, to be real with you. At the same time, mental health is serious. At that moment, I would be mad. But mental health It'll be is, fuck Drew Brees in your house, nigga. It Big is, facts. Mental health is serious, <laughs> Big you facts. hear me? Big facts. So my son should be able to take his break. I don't think he should receive any backlash for it. Facts. But so I'm you a, wouldn't say fuck Drew Brees? I wouldn't say But I'm a fan. Be, Ooh, you a liar, I'd be, I be mad. I'm, 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 a, I, I'm not saying... Look, part of being I'm a fan a is a fanatic. Fan. Logic goes out the window sometimes when you're a fanatic, That's son. true. I'm you, a fan, you, so therefore I can't... You be in that bitch, you be wilding out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, at I the can't. End of the day, I'm devoid of logic he, when it comes to the Saints. I'm sorry. Break. I think I don't know. I think it. I think it's like when you have, like I said, the Naomi Osaka, Simone Biles. I think it sets a weird precedent for not persevering through adversity or hmm. pressure. Uh, I, I think it just sets a weird example. Like if a kid sees that, like anytime I get pressure, I, I just step out. I feel like sometimes you need to 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 fight through pressure and overcome it and address and like I think sometimes. But I mean, it's I'm, easier I, I, said than done. Okay, but say, I, okay, but I think it's an. I understand it. it. Absolutely, is easier said than done. Most things are easier said than done. But I think it's important for people to fight through pressure, overcome adversity, like we've done for a long time. For this mental health thing is a relatively new development, and I thought I saw somebody. What so you talking about? Mental health like is a new development. The, the awareness of it and how it's always okay. About very, it's, yeah, it's, that's awareness. recent. We have we we haven't talked about that because I mean honestly, recent. for the most part in society, mental health was either you have it together or you just weak. But look, really, and they've never. I mean, people have never like you. You don't hear people say that. Oh yeah, back in my day, kids weren't depressed. We didn't, they didn't know what depression was. Right. You never heard that shit. Oh my gosh, you yeah. You not depressed? You never heard anybody say that? Well, oh, really? that's that's the that's people back. Let me teach some shit. Mental health and mental health awareness is a new movement. It's probably in the last 10 years, people Facts. have really been talking about it and uh, it's been in the public eye. But 
I was gonna say this. I saw somebody say this on uh I forgot what I was watching. Uh but they said something interesting. I was like, they find it interesting that we don't allow athletes to diagnose themselves physically in their physical health. Why do we allow them to diagnose themselves mentally? Shouldn't they have to see a therapist and like they, like people could, nowadays people can just say, "Oh, I'm depressed." But and do like, we know okay, that, depressed. that they don't have therapists and stuff already? I'm I mean, saying, I don't know. They don't. I'm, I'm saying they don't, but it's not required. Like if I, if I want to say I'm depressed, I see what you're I saying. I can sit and say I'm depressed. I don't have to talk to anybody. Like, Yo, I'm depressed. This these people these know are, how they feel though. These are things not, that not open. That's why people. That's why they have therapists to help people understand how they feel. You but, don't. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't need a therapist to know that. Oh well, I'm depressed. How do niggas know if they niggas know if they depressed no, no, or not? No, no, you don't. That's not true. Yes, that's you do. Son, that's not true. Son, that is not true. That's not true. Now we saying that people don't know how they feel. People don't. Reginald, do that, you that's not why know therapists that exist. Depressed? You cannot take showers for days and not and not, and not no do anything, <laughs> eat eat or anything, and be like, oh, this is a sign of me being depressed. This is a sign of depression. It's depression does isn't something you just know. You you. You, it's a lack of energy. It's a it's a multitude of or, things that go into depression. Or it can depression. be misconceived. I can just be not not having a good day, and I see some like it's like when you Google symptoms. Yes. Like say I got a headache and I got yes I got fucking These I got I got all, some symptoms and then I Google my symptoms. Oh shit, you got cancer. In reality, I don't got cancer. I'm just feeling these symptoms. And I'm I'm associating it with that. Like I could just be sad, or I could just. I don't know, just not be feeling good that day. I think that you and, just and took it over the top. With I did. I, you're not even letting me fucking finish the sentence. So how you know <laughs> what the hell was? Right. You just Damn. used it about the oh not shit, done. the cancer. I'm not done. That's over I'm the top to me. Done. Go ahead, finish. That's Damn. all I'm saying, son. It's Damn. not done. And you don't got to curse either, bitch. It's not done. You're not letting right. me finish the example. You don't got to curse For either. Example, That's like, all I'm saying. Like I said, it's like when you have physical symptoms and you Google them and this and oh, you got cancer. Boom. Like some something that you don't that you don't have. But your symptoms are congruent with that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like I said, I can have some symptoms that I feel emotionally and mentally, and then I Google it, and it says, oh, you're depressed. When in reality, I might not be depressed. But because mm. what that's what I think, instead of being diagnosed by a professional to tell me, like, oh, no, you're not depressed, actually. It's just this. Mm. And sometimes, son, even tough, the doctors son. are wrong. Yeah, that's son. what I'm okay, saying. Okay, absolutely. Sometimes, so I feel like that people a, should go with themselves. A, like, a professional if you feel opinion is like important. you're depressed. A professional opinion is important. Right, and sometimes they're wrong. They out here but they know better subscribing than, time, uh, telling kids time, that they have uh, HDD, uh, HDD uh, whatever you want to call it, and they diagnosing them with that that's when really it's not. They know, but when really it's not that. Who are you to say, though? Son, kids are just naturally hyper. Kids naturally and have a mind that they just go on 100 miles per minute. They that, try to put you on some medicine, some shit that's going to slow you down and have you just sitting right there looking like a zombie. That's not always true. But like I said, there's... It's definitely true. That's but it's, what it's, they but, do. But it's the same as... It's the same, but in that same instance, a parent is not supposed to see their child being hyper and be like, oh, they're ADHD. Hmm. They're supposed to get a professional opinion to see if they need to address it. It's not just, I'm saying it's, I think a professional opinion is just as important when we talk about physical illnesses or, or, or hindrances, or whatever the fuck, as well as mental. I don't think it's, I don't think it's good for us to diagnose ourselves. I think, it, I think it's weird. Because right. we don't know. We're not professionals. You're, I, I feel two things, like, go ahead. Go ahead, Reginald. It's, no, been, go ahead, Reginald. it's, it's been a time why I, I was at football practice, hit my wrist on the helmet real hard, boom, looked at my shit, and it looked like the bone was poking out of my shit. I knew my wrist was broke. I have a broken wrist right now. Has to be. I went to the doctor, had a bone contusion. It was not a broken wrist. But you knew that. That's what I'm saying. I knew, knew, I knew my shit was hurt. But I, but me, diagnosing it myself, I thought I had a broken wrist. If you'd have asked me what I had right then, you couldn't, you could not have told me I didn't have a broken wrist. But in reality, I didn't, I, cause I, I'm not educated. I, I don't, I'm not from, I don't know. But, right, but at that point, you're talking about physical. We're well, talking well, I'm about saying, mental. I think it's, I'm saying it's two different things. It is different. That's why I'm saying mental, physical. You need a professional opinion, someone who studied these things and are well versed in it to help you understand. Because if I, even if I'm me, I might think I'm depressed, but I might not be. I, I can have symptoms of what I think may be equal depression, but it's not. That's what I'm saying. Professionals are 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 I think are essential in both cases. 
I don't think that you need a, a professional to to know how you feel. But see, people know how they feel. I, I think they don't. I think the people argument where Corey's going with it is if you're like, are you specifying saying if it's like for overall everyone or just in general like if you're a professional athlete and you're no, saying that no, you want to take this time no, off everyone 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 like you shouldn't like because people they don't know like i said like i said mental health is, a, is fairly new a new talking point and it's been in the public eye for only a recent amount of the time awareness, yes. so i can just see what i what i can just listen to what i've heard about it and think i have it and then start do, you know what i'm saying yeah. Instead of actually knowing that I'm depressed, and I don't, I think you're overestimating what people think they know about themselves. People don't know themselves. People, people do not know. How, people, you, you These say people true. know how they feel, but a lot of people do not know how they feel. It's been times where I don't know how I feel. Like oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now. I don't, I don't know what this. I don't know what this feeling is. People have new feelings all the time, and like I said, and it can be a case where I, I, I feel something I've never felt before, and I think, oh, this is depression. When in reality, it might not be. But that's what happens a lot of time, I think, is people have feelings. Oh, this is depression. I'm depressed. Okay, so what you're saying, I got I got it. I got it. So without getting a professional most, opinion. Most times you when it comes to mental health, you can't pinpoint exactly what certain things are. Right. So I can understand from the standpoint of you saying seeking professional help will be more beneficial for you than trying to than diagnose it yourself. Answer. Most definitely. I I I completely agree with you now there are times that when you can feel Absolutely. you you feel like damn what i don't feel like i'm, I'm not i'm I, not myself today so I, I, i'm I, laying in bed and it's two it's two three o'clock in the afternoon you know like I said, it, it, it like works that. on both it works on both fronts like mm -hmm. if i see my bone popping out my leg yeah. i know i that, i know i hurt I, myself no i'm saying if i actually see my my actual bone i actually really know it's broken at that mm. point i don't need a fucking doctor to tell yeah, my leg yeah. broken. i can see it's broken but like I said, the same thing with mental health. Some people know they're depressed, but I think it's a, 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 a on both sides it's a large group of people that diagnose themselves physically and mentally and when they don't know what the fuck they have. And depression, and, and it goes say, beyond depression. Any, there's anxiety. Yeah, there's the fuck, oh, it's all types so of mental much. health issues that people yeah. diagnose themselves on. ADHD. Like I said, it's you know how many people I've I've met that say, oh yeah, I'm ADHD or I'm OCD. When they they just made that shit up because not many. I know so many people that say they OCD, do but they, they take, just they just do they say, take oh, medication. For they it? don't. I, I just know I'm OCD. Because I like I like real shit. I like so, shit. I like shit real organized. I'm OCD. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, or, or, that or, or, that is one of those. I'm hyper. I've always been hyper. I can't concentrate. Yeah, those, I'm ADHD. Those People things just, that they always say that they are, but never been fully they, like never been not, diagnosed. Nothing. Exactly. They diagnose their damn self. Like you don't know. These are mental things that professionals have studied and need to diagnose you for. But people just diagnose them damn self. I know what you mean by that, but like for more serious stuff, like again going back to like if you feel like you're truly not up to the task and it's going back to the Miss Bow situation. If she felt like she was truly not up to the task and she wasn't going to give her best performance, then by all means, step away, mama. Because at that point, I came to see if I'm a, a person that's really into gymnastics or if it's my first time watching gymnastics, I want you at your A game. So if you feel as though you will not be prepared and ready enough to perform at the highest level and you're willing to sacrifice that you're taking an L. I think that's it, a little bit of BS, though. I see. Because on the, on the, I guess on the same sense, like are you only supposed to perform when you can feel like you can be at your best? Sometimes you have to, like I said, if that, that means I'm only going to perform when there's no adversity. When I'm, like I said, if there's some pressure, I'm not going to do it. Because there's going to be times where, like I said, athletes do it all the time. They play hurt. They play through. So not everybody's I, Kobe, I, son. Not everybody's Kobe. I'm not talking about Kobe. All but that was the first person that I, comes Isaiah, into my Isaiah mind. Isaiah Thomas played a game and dropped like 50 points after his sister passed away the day before. Terrell Owens played in the Super Bowl with in a broken, broken leg. leg. You know what I'm saying? It's been part of athletics and people, time to, <laughs> to, to overcome uh, adversity. Or, Everybody's or, not the same, though. Yeah. I think it's important, though, to, to for people to be, not the same, but for people to... I don't see know, those not, to witness not, those type of things. It's, it's not not. not I think Sometimes it's important. I think it's important for it. people to be not so willing to give up, give up, or quit. Okay, so and like I said, I don't let think. Me ask you this let question. me say this. I don't think she's a quitter. Okay, I'm not calling her that's, a quitter. That's what I'm about to get. I'm to. not calling her a quitter. I'm not calling her weak. And you're not saying she's giving up. No, but she did quit. And she, she. I'm not lying. One time don't make you a liar, but she did quit. For whatever her reasons, cool. You quit for 
for the, for whatever whatever reason you have, but you did quit. Quit. I could. S- it, 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 by the fact she she did quit. She stepped away. She quit. She stepped away. People don't like the word, but the, I, I'm not. I, I, I don't, said I'm I not. Yeah. I'm not calling her a quitter. Right. But she did quit. But she accepted the responsibility. It's, it's one of those things where she's not asking for anybody to feel bad for her. She's just saying, I'm stepping away. I mean, clearly she knew that I'm not going to get any medals by doing this. But, I mean, if you take into consideration long-term things like, say, for instance, she went and she fucked up herself, or fucked up her leg because she wasn't all the way mentally there. Gymnastics, gymnastics True, is a yeah. very dangerous. dangerous sport, well, man. Land on their neck whatever you shit. just said, the twist thing, the twi- Tw- twisties. Yeah. Or whatever, twisties. Whatever. Whatever. She could have been doing fucking been triple axles or whatever the fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. I don't know anything about gymnastics. But she could have been done doing some flips in the air and then landed in irregularly because she, her mind was somewhere else. So these are things where you can't necessarily say, uh, I don't like the term quit because... It's saying that it's she not, she, not, it's she not, gave it, up. It's not PC. And it's but not about PC. It, it's about give. Cause she, it, it sounds bad. It sounds like you're critiquing her. When it, when it, I mean, but that's what she did. She did quit. What it doesn't sound good. It's like I don't know. Was she on a team? Yes. Oh, what's yes. she quit? I'm more she, than positive. She, she, that. There's team. Uh, there's team events and mm-hmm. there's solo events. She withdraw from. I, I think it was solo events, and she definitely withdraw for. I forgot what. It was pivotal, but there was a team event, if not more, that she and, that she would draw from. And I'm pretty pretty sure that uh, majority or her whole team was Shout out to supportive. the other girl. What's that, what's that girl? Suni Lee or Suni? It was some Asian chick that she looked Asian that she ended up getting a gold. I'm not sure. I, again, I'm not keeping I'm up sure. with the Olympics because I don't truly care. But st- stuff like this, it it piques my interest because I'm always willing to see how how we are as a and it goes back into society societal things like so we say she's she quit right Mm -hmm. but then we go back into you factor into all these different things that could have possibly happened if she was to perform why she quit is irrelevant it's irrelevant no to the fact that she quit (laughs) if i quit because i wasn't feeling good i still quit like I said, you don't like the the, the way it sounds, no, but okay, the reality on, of the situation on. is hold on, quitting hold on. is quitting. Hold on. So say for instance this, uh, COVID protocol, right? I can't, I can't. You're, you're, per- that's hold on, hold on. not your choice. It's not my choice, but I can't perform because of it, right? If you get fired, if, you if, didn't if, quit. If, if, if I tell, if, if somebody tells you you can't, if, you, if somebody tells you you can't, per- not, that's not you quitting. That's somebody telling you you can't do it. But if I can't, m- <sighs> she made the decision to not do it. That's yeah. quitting. But if I mentally cannot compete, if I'm not my, if I'm myself am not prepared to do the task that is at hand, I feel as though I step down. I I quit. That's not. If I step down from a job, I quit it. Son, did she uh, walk up there? I think that is. I understand what he's saying. She got there and she said, "I quit." I'm not yeah, doing it's, the. It's two different she things. Didn't, she didn't. It's not two different things. Like I said, you don't like the sound of it. In reality, like I said, if I go to a job and I'm like, "Yo." I'm about to have a baby. Uh, I don't think it's the best job for me. I need to get more money. Da, 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 da. I'm going to step down from my position. I just quit my job, right? I or if I say, job. yo, I hate this job. This, I'm leaving. I feel like I still quit my job. I feel like that's, that's, more, that's of more of a quit. Both that's is, more of a quit. Both is quitting. And I'm going to say, I'm not saying it's, it's always something know, inherently son. wrong to quit. Sometimes, maybe we you, have... sometimes you need to quit to, like I said, for maybe in her case, to save herself for 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 whatever her own reasons are but the reason i quitting, said that quitting she is quitting didn't quit like like i said she said that she was having her mental issues mental health issues she stepped down she stepped away for a little while because she did come back if you quit you wouldn't have came back that's not true that's definitely true i could quit a job and apply next week oh, yeah I, I, I quit but i can go back to the if same you job. if you quit you're not coming back. That's yeah, not true. true. I can quit a job and come back to the same job. Quitting doesn't is not always permanent. Quitting, that, and that's why I say that she didn't quit. She stepped away. I'm confused. So she's, what do you, what do you equate away. quitting with then, son? Because quitting, she stepped away. Yeah, let's go into the definition. And came back. <laughs> the definition of quitting. She stepped I'm, away, focused on her mental health. Yeah. When she was ready, she, she came back. Mm, interesting. Because I mean. Uh, somebody I would think would quit is like ah oh, damn I saw some uh, she's already winning I, I might as well not I even I shit, might as man. well not I might as well not even go out there right now I I, I don't want to do it Leave that's quitting usually permanently 
permanently. She usually, came back. Usually permanently. So it doesn't have to be. It usually is. But leave. She left. She left the competitions. She she took herself out of it. It wasn't permanent in this case. We know that it usually is. But she quit. She left. She stepped down. How, no matter how you take it, she quit. It doesn't sound good because it just sounds so critical and it sounds you know so hard. Saying, quitting think, quitting think, sounds uh, very harsh. I just think that's, that's the I just think that's the sexy and fresh thing that people want to say. She like if that's if that's the vernacular that boys are using, then I feel like I can't I can't agree with that. You know. I don't know y'all no more. I feel like <laughs> I feel like. Like I said just now, son. Say for instance, she's standing, she's on the sideline, and she sees somebody do all right, so boom, a super flip. Hold on, hold on. She sees somebody do a super flip that never been done in the uh, Olympics, and this girl just did this. And then Simone Biles, Simone Biles is up next. Then she's like, "I'm not gonna, like she, I'm she, not gonna do that. She wasn't, That's she, quitting. She wasn't performing well. She was performing and wasn't doing well. She's like, you know what? I don't got it. So, she, so she stepped down. She was performing and wasn't doing well. Remember, remember a couple years ago when that tight end reco- uh, retired at halftime? Yes. You remember? Yes, I do. Did he not quit? He quit. He quit. But he sure. quit, but he quit because he could not deal with the loser no more. He it was frustrated. Too, it, he was mad, that, angry. That, that, what is that? That's he, that's he mental. Was angry. That's mental. That's not. He's that angry. Is. You're mad. Which is an emotion, which is mental. So that's, that's not a that physical trait. Being angry is equating to mental health? I'm saying it's a mental trait. But we're gonna yes. let's not. His, his let's anger not put, and frustration allowed him to, made him say, I can't do this shit no more, right? And he quit out of frustration. And she quit out of another reason, but she, they're both quitting. She, she, she was in the middle of an event of a competition and said, "You know what? I'm not doing this shit." Right, because for whatever reason, because it, of her mental health. Right. I'm not saying why she quit was wrong, <laughs> but she did quit. Is all I'm she saying. She stepped down, son. Oh, yeah, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas. No, it's, it's son. It's, y'all, y'all we we'll go too. around no, the circles all day, son. Yeah. We just go out there to agree to disagree. So not wrong. No, the definition says leave, and that's what she did. But okay, son. Leave out the other part. But okay. It says usually permanently. Usually. Usually that does not mean always. So okay, the words matter. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead but, and agree to disagree. No, you're just wrong. Okay, son. But hey, uh I don't think there's anything else we'll talk about, right? Nah, I think not that's really. it. That's it. Cool. I'm probably gonna edit this down. Uh, yeah, we probably got buku stuff on here. We gave y'all a lot of juice today, you know. But hey man. A lot, of, a lot of sauce. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you listen on YouTube, rate this five stars. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you know we post. Um, Give me that 10. But hey, until next time, man. Aye! For you see, I. For you see, I.